these are supposed to be serious. <laughs> the last time I matched my socks, a tornado ripped through Oklahoma. Carrie Underwood wrote a song about it. And I'll admit I'm a little jealous of the way it swept careless down the street, because nature doesn't really care what people think. The last time I matched my socks, a tsunami bombarded, bombarded the shores of Japan. They still haven't cleaned it up. It looks like my bedroom. <laughs> the last time I matched my socks, Ebola broke out in Zaire. Each virus is 970 nanometers long, but the clusters which form in their victim's blood look like black pepper. When you compare their lethality to their length, the result gives evidence to God's elevation of the meek. The last time I matched my socks, Chernobyl. The time before that, Pompeii. The last time I matched my socks was December 15th of 2012 at the Gildan New Mexico Bowl in Albuquerque, and that was only because the director insisted that they both had to be black for the halftime show. I know Bill Harley says that black socks never get dirty, but the same cannot be said of my conscience, so whatever the bowl game incident was, I'm sorry. But what can I say? I'm a natural disaster, windswept and flooded with a love of color. I'm always up for an adventure if I can be the heroine, so I bear daily the discordant travesty of mismatched socks. Because it feels like a win for entropy over the thieving dryer who can never resist eating the left sock. <laughs> the last time I matched my socks, I was so absorbed in the discomfort of order that I couldn't finish my poetry. And since writer's block is the greatest tragedy of all, I keep only half the socks I buy. 